English slang words that I actually use in my everyday life. Number one, dodgy. Dodgy is an incredibly useful word that British people use to describe anything that we're concerned about. It can be used to mean anything that's low quality, potentially dangerous, or unreliable. A lot of people that I have spoken to or I've encountered uh, use it as a way to express some like a neighborhood or um, like a dodgy part of town um, or something that's a little sketchy or sus. <laughs> I found myself using it a lot in the last couple of weeks. I don't know why. I've just picked it up a lot in the last couple of weeks. It's a good slang word. I really like it a lot. Quid. If you've ever been at the cashier of a British shop and heard the word quid, then you know how confusing it can be. But don't worry, a quid is just a slang word for pound. So they'll say this costs 10 quid instead of 10 pounds. I've actually used this for a fairly long time, even before we moved here to England, because my partner used it all the time. And we say, oh, it costs 10 pounds or 10 quid in America when it was $10. And I would make fun of him a lot. And now he gets to return the favor because I say <laughs> it costs $10 when it really costs 10 pounds or 10 quid. A lot of English people that I've encountered in my daily life in the stores or at work or anything like that will typically say that this is 10 quid. Or they'll say, another thing they'll say is it's a tenner or it's a fiver, meaning it costs five quid, it costs five pounds, costs 10 quid, costs 10 pounds. So uh, I've definitely picked that up. I use it all the time, um, more so than I use the word pounds, I think. I guess it just makes me sound more native. Probably not in this accent though, right? The next one is proper. Proper is a difficult word to define, mainly because British people use it to describe so many different things. Very true. Doing things properly means to do them correctly or in the right way. In North of England, proper can also be used for emphasis in the same way as the word very. I've actually heard that down here in, in Southeast England as well, where they'll say that is proper dodgy or Things like a proper job, like a good job, a real job, I guess. I'll say things like, oh, that was proper shitty. <laughs> that was a very unique combination of American and English slang and culture. <laughs> cheers. You might know the word cheers as the word used to toast your drink in English. But as the British like to be different, we also use it for something else. We use cheers to mean thank you and often pretty sarcastically. I use it mostly in the sarcastic sense. We're making dinner and somebody drops something on my hand or something. I'm like, oh, thanks. Cheers for that. Appreciate it. <laughs> but I have seen it used, you know, as a thank you in a, in a legitimate, genuine way as well. Um, people at work often will say uh, cheers when they're hanging up the phone. Oh, here's your coffee that I made for you or the tea that I made for you. And they'll say, oh, cheers. But Cheers for that. Um, I actually don't, he don't hear it as much as a toast as you would think, even though that's the like stereotypical way that you would think most British people use it. It is used a lot. It is something that's very common in everyday language here in England, and I found myself using it pretty consistently. <laughs> pissed. In the US, pissed means angry. In the UK, pissed means drunk and Pissed off is actually rude. They'll say, oh, I got so pissed last night. I'm just, I'm just hanging, which is kind of short for hangover. And well, I was pissed. So that's why I was a little bit loud and unruly the other day. I catch myself a lot when people say it that, uh, oh no, I'm in England and it means that they were drunk. It doesn't mean that they were angry and upset and like starting to pick a fight with somebody or something. I'll actually use it both ways. I'll use it in the British way a lot. I'll use it in the American way a lot. And I think I'm confusing other people around me a bit <laughs> who may not, those who may not understand that it actually means angry. And I'll, I will say, God, I'm so pissed about that. And they'll be like, they don't, they don't know what I'm talking about, but I've found that I am using it both ways, which uh, I didn't ever think I would, to be honest. <laughs> Cheeky. Cheeky has long been used in the UK to describe something lighthearted, but a little rude and possibly risque. However, it is now used to describe any activity that's a little bit naughty, but nice. God, I'm trying to think of an example. 
cheeky. My child will um, come up to me and be like, so what are you doing? So do we have any plans on Friday? Because, you know, I was thinking maybe I would, if you guys are going out, maybe you could drop me off at my friend's house for the night. And like, you cheeky git. Like, just ask me. <laughs> just say, don't say, oh, since you guys are going out, can you do this for me? Like, just ask me if you need me to do something for you. It's a little bit like that. Um, there's probably tons of better examples out there. And I know that you Brits that are watching this are thinking, no, she's got it wrong. So make sure you leave it in the comments below. And let me know your examples of cheeky that you think better uh, explain the word cheeky. But I do use cheeky a lot. It's just hard for me to explain it for some reason. <laughs> mate. Mate is British slang for friend. Like a lot of British slang, mate is a word that is used as much sarcastically as it is sincerely. You're just as likely to call someone mate when they're your friend as you will when they're annoying you. Growing up, I thought this was more of an Australian thing. And I remember my partner when we lived in America used to get asked all the time if they were from if he was from Australia because he used the word meat. And his response was always, where do you think the Aussies got it from? It doesn't necessarily mean friend in like a you're like my lifelong be you know bestie kind of situation. People at work use it a lot um, when they're on the phone or talking to fellow coworkers. I've seen people just use it even as a greeting, saying, oh, hello, mate, how are you doing today? That kind of thing. They don't say, how are you doing today? That's a very American thing. <laughs> hello, mate. <laughs> oh, my God, I sound so much <laughs> They'll just say, hi, mate, you're right. That kind of thing. And it's as like a greeting as well. But I do find myself using it um, usually with cheers. I usually even like cheers, mate, or uh, something like that. But it is a very common thing uh, used here in England and um, I find myself just picking it up and using it randomly uh, when I'm out and about with other people. So there you go, my top favorite English slang words that I use in everyday life as an American living here in England. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments below and I'll see you in the next one.